Hi, I'm Ali and a warm welcome to Face Yoga Master. So in today's video, I thought I would share with you how to reduce those crow's feet down by the side of the eyes, those pesky little fine lines and wrinkles. I'm then going to finish off with the all important lymphatic drainage massage release. Now, what I like to do first is to sit down, feet firmly on the floor and also my shoulders nice and relaxed. As you can see, I have no product on my skin whatsoever, only a tiny bit of lipstick. So clean skin and also clean fingers. Now you can use your favourite face oil or facial cream or even an eye cream if you like. I'm using some facial oil here. Really important, we do need some form of slip and glide so we're not compromising the skin by dragging and pulling. So I'm just going to add just a couple of drops to my fingers, one to soften the fingers and then to just gently apply under the eyes. We just tap it in first of all very lightly and then just above the eyebrows and the temples and then also side of the ears and the side of the neck. Now what I like to do first is to use my ring finger. Now it's again really important when you're doing any exercises or massages around the eyes is to use your ring finger. We have a lightest touch on our ring finger and the skin around the eyes is extremely fine and delicate so you don't want to drag and pull it. So first of all I'm just gently smoothing along under the eyes and heading towards the temples in a slight upwards motion. And obviously when we smile we actually crease these lines and we just need to soften those out and obviously as you get older you start to lose collagen um, I'm in my 50s, so obviously it starts to deplete, so we need to kind of help speed it up a bit and just soften everything up. Then I'm going to take, again, my ring finger and my other finger just above here and just gently glide along. You can do this morning and evening, obviously it depends how much time you have. And then I'm placing my finger as an anchor, my fingers here, and with my other fingers, I'm just gently massaging down. So we're actually going more vertically. Obviously, when we have the fine lines and wrinkles, they tend to be horizontal. And then placing down with the other hand, and then again, gently lifting up, literally ironing out those wrinkles. Holding down. Go down this time first of all, and then again going in an upwards motion. Then I'm going to take my fingers and just glide along on the forehead above the eyebrows and again down, again using the fingers here. You can use your other fingers when you're going above. Just, just when you're under the eye. Also, I'd just like to mention that when you're applying any face cream or oils or even your eye cream under your eyes, just go along the bone here. Don't go right in literally to where your eyelashes are because whatever you place on here is going to act like blotting paper and it's going to draw into the eyes. And if you go up too high, that's when you can actually end up with agitated eyes and they're just smoothing out a little bit of tapping this is also helping with collagen and elastine it almost also calms down the nervous system obviously you know if we're stressed we or angry um, emotional we hold a lot of emotion in our face and that's also includes scrunching the eyes. If you like, you can take a couple of deep belly breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth just to get some oxygen to the neck and the head area. And again, just one last time, just going along in an outwards motion and then just massage down by the temples lightly and just glide down the side of the ears, 
side of the neck down to the collarbone and then with the fingers here I'm just going to go to the top of the ears and just start to in a round again round light circular motions head down to the bottom of the ears may you want to swallow so you can feel where we've been moving things along and above the ears again and down to the bottom and then just work the fingers just towards the nape of the neck any tender points just give it a little extra massage out and then when the fingers are touching just gently glide down the side of the neck to the collarbone and then from our chin all the way down either side we have a couple of indentations points and you just want to give those a few gentle presses this will release all the toxins in the waist that we've moved from this area into the body ready for elimination now I do have other playlists on lymphatic drainage massage release and also facial massage and face yoga exercises. If you'd like to take a look at those, I do also have playlists. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and maybe a comment. Please tell me where you come from and, and also what, you, what age you are. And also, if you enjoy the video, for more hints and tips, please subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Okay, bye.